What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the Qatar Open happening this week on the WTA. It's a WTA 500 event. It's a big event, and it's got some big names playing, but it also has some big names that are pulled out. So let's go to the withdrawals. Okay, so we have Grand Slam champions pulling out of this event all over the place. We start with Andrescu. She's pulled out with an injury. Also, Barty. She pulled out with injury too. Simona Halep pulled out, which was interesting to see that. Sophia Kennan's out. Sviontek is also out. And Vondra Sova is also out of this event. So some big names out, but some big names are still in this one. Starting at the top of the draw, the top four seeds get a buy in the first round. There's going to be eight seeds in total. And the number one seed, Svetolina, she gets a buy into the second round. She'll play the winner of Zheng versus Anisimova in the second round. Then we have Rybakina versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to play a very interesting first round match, a popcorn match between Kuznetsova and the number eight seed, Azarenka. So battle of the Grand Slam champions in the first round. I'm excited for that one. Then we have the number three seed, Sabalenka, getting a buy in the first round. She's going to have to play either Kudamatova or Muguruza in the second round. And very interesting to see Muguruza unseeded. It just shows how strong this event is, even without those top, top players. Then we have Sakari versus Sharif. The winner of that's going to play the Madison Keys or number 60, Benchich, who's on a little bit of form, Benchich. She made the final last week of Adelaide, eventually lost to Sviontek. And we haven't seen Keys for a long time. She got COVID before the Australian Open, so she didn't play that. So first little comeback here for Madison Keys. Another great first round match. Keys versus Benchich. So even though we don't have the big names like Barty, Halops, Fiontek, Andrescu, this tournament's got some big names and some very dangerous unseeded players. You've got Rybakina up the top there. Very dangerous unseeded player, especially in these conditions. Muguruza, Sakari, and of course Keys, all unseeded and all very dangerous. Let's go to the second half of the draw now and we get to see the Australian Open Finals. Number seven seed Brady in the first round, but she has a very tough first round. She's going to play Kontovit in the first round. The winner of that match is going to play the Kerber or Buyakche in the second round. It's a very tough first round there for Brady and the first time we're going to see her since making that Australian Open final a couple weeks ago. Then you have a qualifier versus Pavlichenkova. The winner of that's going to play number four seed Kvitova who gets a buy in the first round. Then we have number five seed Burtons versus Ostapenko in the first round. Very fun first round. First time we're going to see Burtons in 2021. Winner of that's going to play the Wang or the qualifier. Then we have Jabor versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to play number two seed Karolina Pliskova and that is a nightmare start for Pliskova. She's going to have to probably play Jabor who who's a very dangerous player, especially in this part of the world, in these conditions. And again, huge unseeded players here. We've got Kontovic. She's a very dangerous unseeded player. Kerber, Grand Slam champion. Jabor, very dangerous. And also we have the return of Burtons. We get to see Brady again. Kvitova Pliskova as well. Very, very stacked event. So there you have it. There is the draw. And I'm very excited to see Brady come back after what she did at the Australian Open. Also see how Svetolina, maybe even Burtons does, because we haven't seen Burtons for a long, long time since getting injured last year. So we'll see how she looks as well. But then, of course, Pliskova. I mean, Sabalenka. There's so many names. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? So this event has the potential for anybody to win. It could be an unseeded player. It could be the top seed. It's very hard to pick this event. But I'm going on 2021 form, and I'm going to go with Sabalenka. She played amazing in similar conditions at the start of the year in Abu Dhabi. And I think her game is very suited to this event, and I think she's going to play very well. She's actually the defending champion as well. So she won this event last year. So I'm going to stick with Sabalenka to win this one. One. But again, anyone could win this one. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win. The Qatar Open. Big names are pulled out, but some big names are still in.